Hey everybody, I am Glenn. And I'm Xander. And together we are Fun King 3D. Welcome to our Friday Night Live stream. Uh, where tonight we are going to build the Creality CR20 Pro in under two hours. Can it be done? I I'd hope so. so. It's, a, it's a pretty easy build. It's, <laughs> it's a lot like the CR10S Pro. Yep. So, running down the, the chat really quick, which actually will be really quick. There's not a whole bunch of you in here yet. We got Jake from State Farm. We have Supercar Racer 13. Um, mute that. Oh. It is, it is muted. Oh, but it's not muted here. Okay, so anyway, you know, we're kind of new to this. You know, like we haven't ever done one of these live streams before, so... I don't know why it was that one unmuted and the rest of them muted. Anyway, Supercar Racer 13 is here. Mitch 3D. What about the FK1? The FK1 has been being worked on, and uh, I believe I'm going to work on it a little bit more uh, on Sunday on Fun in the Country Basement. Uh, Jesse, the emo girl, is here. Uh, da -da -da. Cousin Troy, BMX 316, is here. That's it. Small group tonight, but that's okay. More will flood in. We want to get this done. Uh, I bet you $10 you can't build it in five minutes or less. <laughs> uh, I'd almost take that challenge if I had everything ready. But uh, uh, no, the, the whole point on getting this done as quickly as possible tonight is because, of course, tonight is the Friday Night 3D Printing Community Hangout. And we don't want to run into their stream, so this will definitely be shorter than our usual streams. Watch Jamaican is in here. Grandpa Joe 3D. Uh, you are here, Troy, and that is uh, greatly appreciated. You know, you should come here, and uh, and you could be a guest on our on our stream sometime. You know, the weather is much nicer here than it is there. All right, so <clears throat> for those of you who missed the Creality CR10S Pro build, that was just last week, wasn't it? <gasps> it's Chinese. Well, yes, of course it is. Uh, Creality was kind enough to send us uh, not only the, the CR10S Pro, but also the CR20 Pro, and um, it was really nice of them. Uh, definitely, definitely way more than I was expecting, and... Uh, and so far, my, my feelings on the CR-10S Pro are pretty good. It's, uh, it seems to be a pretty decent printer. Now, hopefully this guy will be as well. The best people are here. <laughs> it's only negative 10 here right now. Uh, and that's Fahrenheit for, uh, for our metric folk. Yeah, it's uh, it's cooler here tonight. I think it's uh, like what fifty right now. Huh. All right, I am working. <clears throat> I am working on getting an overhead camera set back up again, uh, so that in instances like this we can show you the coolness that is inside. So I guess I'll just do this for right now. You can see. You can see how everything's packed in there. We got uh, a very decent amount of foam. Got a box of stuff. Got another roll of the, uh, like the mini roll of the filament. Uh, this I looks challenge like... you to a duel. <laughs> this <laughs> looks like a uh, bag of spares. It's got some wire wrap. It's got uh, an extra heater cartridge. It looks like a thermistor, some extra wheels, a nozzle. No, two nozzles. Um, maybe a filament, either a filament runout sensor or an end stop switch. What's your opinion of the CR10? Uh, the regular CR10, I don't know because um, I never had one. But um, the CR10S. Pro, which is the one that we unboxed last week, is a is a pretty fantastic printer. Now I know that the CR10 gets pretty good reviews uh, as a whole, but what uh, I missed something. 
Stig said, that's okay, Jesse. Glenn can take it. I don't know what it is, but I can probably take it. I'm going to pop this chat out so it's a little bigger. We're only getting like five lines. And mm. Oh, gosh. There you go. Now you can watch it. Yeah. Shane is here. <laughs> Mooch reality is What's that? Mitch called you a mooch. I didn't mooch these. They they were just they they just did it. They were just like, hey, here's some stuff. Again, we met them at uh, Earth last year, and uh, and then these things magically show up. Oop. Yeah, Troy, definitely the pro. The pro pro is a very solid built printer. Um. I'm very pleased with it so far. I ran a tolerance test on it, and this will all be coming out. I'll be releasing a, a video on it. That is a small printer. I don't like the way that they pack this. I mean, I say that, but like it's kind of interwoven. But um, I ran a calibration test on it, a, a 100 millimeter calibration, and it came in at 100.16 out of the box. So that's pretty impressive. The magnetic build plate. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> hey, could you help me out here? No, since you challenged me to a duel. Well, the challenge is, is you have to hold this. I can't, Shane. He wants to play Fort Nert. Fort Nert. N Nart. Nart. Fort Nert is not a thing. No, Xander's not allowed to play Fortnite anymore. Turns him into a jerk. And that's putting it really nicely. That's they do not skimp on the packing. That is for sure. The cat would enjoy that. Yes, another printer, Thomas. Yay, another printer. Hi, Thomas. Thanks for joining us, brother. I'm excited that you're going to be at Murph again this year. Yay. And uh, and like I said, if you uh, if you come on Friday and anybody gives you any grief about coming in, you just tell them that you're part of my my crew. I don't think they'll give you any grief, though. Usually don't. I've eaten. Am I related to Vladimir? <laughs> uh, no. Who? The president of Russia. I'm not Russian, I'm Swedish. I'm probably bringing my CR-10. Well, that's cool. I'm probably bringing the FK-1. All right, so now this one, this one has two separate bags. The other one, the parts that you needed were in a bag marked spares. This one has a second bag. with the stuff in it. Now this is only single Z lead screw, which doesn't excite me, but I guess maybe for this build volume it won't be such a big deal. You, you should prepare your file with Slick 3R. What's Slick 3R, Chris? <laughs> uh, no, Chris spelled it out that way so that you'd understand it's slice Oh, -er. okay, okay. Yeah, that makes more slice sense. That makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Riley. Thank you for popping by. Slick 3R. What kind of world do you live in? Gonna have to get that band hammer ready. <laughs> These are my, uh, my new Bond house ball end hex drivers that Santa Claus brought me. 
Is GearBest sponsoring you? Uh, GearBest is not sponsoring me. Um, I really like this. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not even sure how my my relationship is with Gearbest at this point. I haven't really been saying nice things about them. I haven't said anything mean about them, but after the whole E12 fiasco, I'm not really sure. But there's no hammer on the desk. What's that? But there's no hammer on the desk, no band hammer. Oh, the band hammer? I keep it under the desk. Is it super small? Oh, it's that great big one right there. Play along, you jerk. <gasps> oh, yeah, that big one. I can say a few useless sentences, and I know genders, both singular and plural. That's about it. <laughs> I know no Russian. What? Nyt. Isn't that Russian? Nyt. Nine? No, that's, no German. that's German. That's German. That's the. There's no such thing as sli slick 3R. That's right, it's What's slicer. F3? Has anybody ever reached out to them and asked them how to say it? What's F3DPCH? Ah, that would be the Friday 3D Printing Community Hangout stream. And if you have not attended one of those, I am going to post a link to it in just a little bit uh, for the one tonight. And it is actually, they have a guest on tonight, which is John Ollie, uh, who is the guy that kind of runs the, the whole Murph. And, cool. uh, but the streams are, are, I mean, sometimes there's guests, sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's just a bunch of people, pretty much if you're in the 3D printing community, and you either have a YouTube channel or you're a predominant person in the in the community, whatever. Sometimes they let us in there. Um, <laughs> don't bend that. I really like this. It's a piece of magnet. I might keep this. No, you can't keep it. Why that. can't I keep it? Because it's the print surface. Well, the printer can But they, go. um It's just kind of a big group hangout for 3D printing. And there's always a topic and stuff. And it's, it's cool. It's fun. We haven't been in one in a while because between being busy and the fact that it doesn't start until 10 o'clock our time and it's getting old and I go to sleep early now, but uh, the, uh, the FD3PCH stream starts at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, Anthony, I am, I am pleased to be the one to get to tell you about it. Thomas... Emraz, Emraz, you're gonna have to tell me, Tom. Uh, Tom, Tom, how to pronounce Mraz. your last name? Is it Emraz? Mm -hmm. If so, answer one. Or is it Mraz? If so, answer two. Or other. Or or other. Answer three. Eight for me. Well, yeah, you're a little bit closer to that uh, Pacific Ocean. Can anyone here recommend me a good quality main board for a Tronxy X5S? It needs to support Marlin, be preloaded with a bootloader, full 24 volt compatible, and have two Z axis motor ports. Um, Number two. So, Mraz. Okay. Mraz. So, that's what I thought it was. And then everybody I hear say it says it is Mraz. Challenge you to a duel. Come on, I was purposely saving that. Um, gosh, it's Bill. Uh, was that under ten minutes, by the way? Um, I'm gonna have to say the INC board would be a good option for you, Jesse. Um, see, I would have said duet, but then you said that it has to be that it has to be Marlin. If uh, if Chris is still in here, he'll definitely be able to answer that question. I just let Walter go on saying it, Emrus. Yeah. Well, you know, with his country accent, he might not be able to put the M and the Ross together. 
Gen L only has one Z motor port. <laughs> it wasn't under 10 minutes. I didn't even open the instructions manual, though. I probably should have just to see, you know, if it was any good. But I guess once you built one of these. And then it's a bunch of plugging in. There's like so many bags of parts and stuff. Can we put this on now? X, E... All right, that's going to be E. That's going to be X. That's going to be an X. What? The Z is down there under the bed. <laughs> they definitely make a very smooth printer. Can I put this on? Like, I don't know what brand these motors are. They probably don't know what brand these motors are, but they don't chug. They're very, very smooth. Yeah, you can put that on. Oh, you did it wrong. I did it wrong. <laughs> I did it wrong? Just stick it on there, it doesn't matter. You just want to get it as close to lined up as possible. I did it! We're getting an Ultimaker at my school, and me and my friend are the only people allowed to use it. Well, that's cool. It's always nice to have a little bit of a exclusive exclusivity. Exclusivity. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, and if I opened up the instructions manual, it probably would have told me where that was. Probably. Since it is an instructions manual and all. Instructions manual? <laughs> I'm assuming that little clip is there. Now this one has got a plastic extruder. Unlike the uh, 10. It does not have the Bontech style gears. Whatever filament they ran through it was chunky because there's pieces of it left in the in the gear. I can't tell if that's an actual legitimate BL touch or not. It's an Ultimaker 3. Ultimakers are nice machines. Glenn, I squint the exact same way. <laughs> Happy Ron. Well, you know, I am blind in one eye and can't see anything out of the other, so. Yeah, you can take that one right there. So many parts. I would I would agree with that, Anthony. The uh, the duet. I was a little bit hesitant when when everybody first started to suggest it, and um, once I got in there and figured it out, it is such a breeze. It's such a breeze, and the fact that you can change pr parameters on the fly without having to re reburn the firmware. What are you doing? I don't know. You're getting your greasy mitts all over it. I guess we should put a spool holder on it. Hey, look, it's exactly the same spool holder that's on the CR-10S Pro. Maybe a little different. No. 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 Oh, we've only been streaming for 22 minutes, and we're about ready to put some power to this thing. What are we going to print? I don't know. Whatever's on the card. 
It's always fun to print whatever's on the card because it's always a surprise. Can I choose what's on the card? No, I may have to go put the card in the computer though if it does the same thing that the uh, that the 10 did where it doesn't read into subdirectory. No, I don't want that. Not the, not even the fancy spool? No, we're going to give that away to somebody. But it's a fancy spool. We're going to send it away with the, with the robo. But it's a fancy spool. Xander's rocket. I agree with Shane. Yeah, I don't print that thing anymore. Did I tell you that I scaled it to figure out how it would print on the on the 10? And uh, it'll only print like 445 millimeters tall. Because so, you made the base too big on it. Oh, so you're going to blame me for this? No, I'm just telling you. <laughs> had, you made, <clears throat> had you made it not so wide at the base, you could have made it taller, but. I wish I could be like Oprah and give out two Wi-Fi boards. And you get a board. And you get a board. <laughs> uh, Jesse, the, uh, the Duet supports, supports Dual Z. It does have two jumpers on the secondary port, just in case you're only hooking up one. But you just take those two jumpers out of there, and then you can have the second uh the second z and you can actually get a you can get an add-on card so you can have even more z's if you really want them you can have all the z's z's for everyone yeah well xander has designed his rocket his robot and a snowman and snowman with a mustache Okay. Gonna have to come up with a holder for these. Like these, like these drivers, the only thing I don't like is the fact that they changed the handle based on the size. They should have just had them all one size handle. Now, did this one come with ball end? Looks like the same kit. Yep, this printer also came with ball and Allen keys, which is uh, awesome to me. I don't want that. How many times I got to tell you that? Fancy spool. You're a fancy spool. Thank you. <laughs> don't no, you, you know what I want to use? What? Fancy spool? Yeah. The fancy spool that I just told you 35 times I don't want to use. <laughs> Challenge oh. to do it. We are going to use some IC3D. Again? PLA. Again? We didn't use IC3D last week. We used AIO Robotics, which is still hanging on there. Oh. 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 All right. Somewhere around here, I have a live cord. Here, put your tongue on that and tell me if it's got uh -huh. electricity in it. How's the FK1 printing? Um, well, it still prints exactly the way it did. Um, but I have added the heater. I haven't fired it up yet, but I've added the heater. It's weird that switch is upside down. It's usually up for on, down for off. So I'm going to have to take it apart and flip around. Um, I added the heater last Sunday, and then, I don't know, I think it was Monday night, I put the bed back on. 
So I just got to get the bed re-leveled. And, uh, but I'm going to be doing that Sunday on uh, Fun in the Country Basement. I'm going to be working on the FK1. I'm going to bring it around and have it here. So, oh, I most definitely seen Sean's dance. What? What is Sean's dance? <laughs> oh, you didn't get to see it. I don't, I didn't oh. see it. I'm going to pull it up now. I'm going to pull it up right now so that Xander can watch it for the first time. <laughs> Oh, no. uh, live, so you guys can see the reaction. What? You can see Xander's reaction to to the new hit single. Oh no, 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 no. Was it Don't Call Me Girly? Oh no, 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 no. Scro scrolling through your over a thousand. I have so, so many channels I subscribe to. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Okay, now I have to I have to back it up. You guys aren't gonna get to see it, but you guys you guys. Can can you can you see? You have to watch there. What's that? Oh no! I'm gonna unmute it. I want the sound up. They'll, they'll be able to hear the sound. All right, we can't see the chat right now, but this is Xander's. I'm scared. And then I'll post a link to this in the in the chat in just a second. This is Xander's first view of shenanigans. Don't call me girly. Don't call me girly. Oh no. Oh no. Here is here is a link. Here is a link. You guys can. It's like forty eight seconds. Um, you all go watch this right now. I'll wait. Just just go and watch that. He has issues. I'll even give you like two minutes in case you want to watch it twice. Can oh you get gosh. the camera on my face now? Oh. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm surprised Dander didn't die. <laughs> oh, good stuff. That that guy's got issues. <laughs> yes, he does have issues. <laughs> uh, that is so funny. Hi, Super. Hi, Super. I need therapy. <laughs> I need therapy. <laughs> yeah, this one. This one I can put a knob on. I'm gonna steal the knob off a taser face. <gasps> Don't steal it. Oh, I printed sure. it. It's the wrong color for this printer, but. <laughs> what on earth <laughs> am I watching? How many times have you watched it? He looks the comb. Uh, he looks the comb. The best part. Don't call me girly. All right. So I don't know, because again, I didn't read the instructions manual. Sander, Sander needs mental attention. He's about right. I'm going to bed leveling. Hopefully it doesn't just like crash. 
Honest question here, what do most people use their home 3D printer for? Uh, what most people use it for is printing just um, like just tchotchkes and trinkets. Um, things like all this stuff on the shelf that you'll never do anything with. Um, Read the new instructions. Some people use their 3D printer for printing parts for their 3D printer. Some people use their 3D printer to print another 3D printer. Um, but it does have some practical uses too. I printed uh, clips to hold up my, my Christmas lights. Um, I printed, uh, we, put, we put those blinds on our French doors that are like built into the glass and they, they stuck out and it caused problems with our level, lever door handles. So I printed spacers for that. Um, so it does have some practical uses as well. Um, and Troy, if, if you want a, like a good idea of the things you can print, if you go to Thingiverse, so Thing, I-V-E-R-S-E, -E, did I spell that right? Dot com, there is just tons and tons of stuff on Thingiverse.com that you can, that you can download to print. So... You can even buy bike, buy, uh, print bike parts. All right, so it doesn't it doesn't give me a status on whether or not it's level, but we're gonna go for it. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> same on your mouth. <laughs> this video has made me die. <laughs> No TF card. Okay. It's got to be in one of these bags. More of a question for all the lurkers here. Bike parts. Can you print something for me, Zan? I don't know. Uh, I do not know. Well, I reckon we could. We could. Honestly, you probably won't. <laughs> I'm really bad about stuff like that. Yeah. I'll say, yeah, sure, we'll print you something, and then I never do. You do have a lot of junk laying around. I don't know. Is there something specific that you want, or you just want something? <laughs> I can send you a Benji. I have a few of those. I was <laughs> this thinking, video is fun, King Amazing. I, I was thinking one of my rockets full of air is fine. You're not going to be able to get it out of your head. You're going to keep watching it. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it printing? No, it's just auto-homing right now. Hopefully that nozzle offset is better than what I'm seeing. What I am not seeing is the SD card is a place I can manually control I can manually con I can manually control manual. I don't know why that was so hard to say the temperature but I cannot find anywhere that's oh here we go it's way down at the bottom preheat PLA. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it on repeat. <laughs> you might as well just leave it on repeat forever. <sighs> Happy Ron wants to know what Budin tube that Budin? is. What Budin tube that is, and that is actually Capricorn tubing, or so they claim it is. I've not verified that to be true, but they do. They do claim that that is uh, Capricorn tubing. Mm, kind of, maybe, like, um, anything. Belt seemed good and tight. This, this wheel right here is not touching anything, but... 
All right, we're up to uh, 129 degrees. It defaults to 185 on the nozzle and 45 on the bed, which is a little cool for me, but it's a little cool, man. It's cool. Stop. <laughs> I'm tired. It's been a long week. So my rocket super. Have you guys started farming maker coins yet? No. For Murph, you mean? I haven't. And the bag is uh, bag is pretty skimpy. Oh yeah. This is all the maker coins that I currently have, which is scary because uh, we have Gainesville Maker Fair coming up at the end of February. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so we need to get we need to get printing. I did figure out we can put uh, 134. I think is what it turned out to be. Um, 134 on the bed of the FK1 in one shot. But it'll just take how long? Like 134 hours. They're roughly an hour apiece. Oh gosh. But we can start cranking them out on the on the 10. Fake Capricorn 2s. Do you know that, Mitch? I mean, do, do you know that for sure? I mean, they're the, the right color. It looks like a legit BL Touch. The only thing, the only thing that, that doesn't look right on the BL Touch is that the wiring harness is just black and red. But they may make their own harness. This one's going to have the same problem as the 10. There's no, there's no guide for this, so it's pulling against that. And again, this one's plastic. This whole extruder assembly is plastic, so I want to remove that X. The Kappa Cat? I don't know yet. I don't know what's on the Cappa Cat. Cap, cap. Uh, Stomper 121, yes. We have absolutely set up and used the CR10S Pro. It is actually that one that Xander's chair is hiding right there. We set it up last Friday night. Um, I've printed with it a couple times over the week, and I have to say I'm thoroughly impressed with it so far. Ew, what color do they print with? It looks like black Blick. and blue. What? Oh, Chris is back. Oh, I thought you were in here the whole time, Chris. I was saying all kinds of really mean things about you. Like it went, it went to blue and then went back to black. Looks like that nozzle's a little clogged. How does the CR20 compare to the CR10S Pro? Uh, I don't really know yet because I haven't used the 20 yet. As far as performance-wise, size-wise, it's uh, significantly smaller. I want to say it's 220 by 220. If the book is going to tell me, um, the CR10S is 300 by 300 by 400. This isn't going to tell me, but I'm pretty sure it's 220 by 220. But I, I don't, I don't know. See the way that filament's curling like that? Mm -hmm. Usually means that there's something in the nozzle. Oh no! It's got a little clug. Oh no!
All right, so. Print from TF. All right, so there's a test dog. It's going to be the same. It's going to be the same model. It's going to be the test dog. Aww. There's a folder in here called model, but it's spelled M O D L E. Oh, I didn't. Let's, let's do model. Nope, just test dog. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, that's awesome. So test dog it is. Oh man. It looks like it's gonna try to print at 185, and I don't think that's gonna cut it with this filament. So I'm gonna. It's up in the bed to 60, but as soon as that starts printing, I'm gonna up the temperature on it a little bit. I didn't understand how Creality did it. The CR20 should have been the Ender 3 Pro. Yeah, their their modeling numbers definitely don't make sense. When they when they sent me the email and told me that uh, I was getting a CR10S Pro and a CR20 Pro, I thought, wow, the CR10 is huge. The CR20 has got to be monstrous. <laughs> and it's, it's half. Which should, should really be... Did not know if you had one set up before. Nope, nope. These actually, both of these are my first Creality printers I've ever owned. Um, it's negative 12 for me right now. How do you feel? Warm and safe, super. Yeah. Warm and safe. It is... Um, let's see if I can get a little weather. Let's Let's update that weather report. It's 46 right now, so it's kind of cold out. <laughs> it's kind of cold out. It's negative 12. Yes. And he gets mad at me if I say something to him, like how cold it is outside. Like I say it's 30. He's like, that's nothing. Yeah, but those northerners don't understand that it was like almost 90 degrees yesterday. Mad Mike 8 is in the house. All right, it did up the it did up the extruder to two hundred degrees as well. So fingers crossed. While uh, while we're waiting for this thing to get what, closer, 40, what forty six isn't kind of cold? See, I told you. It's kind of cold to us. Mm hmm. Us Floridians can't handle it. I'm going to go ahead and throw a link in here. This is for the Friday night 3D printing community hangout. It was 90 for you people yesterday. Yeah, it was, it was warm yesterday. So it does auto bed leveling every print, apparently. That's cool. I can tell Xander doesn't go outside. He's in Florida and he doesn't have paint. Uh, if you're using outside. the fake XT60 plugs, make sure they're correctly soldered if you plan to use the heat bed for a long time. Um, I don't think this has got the... It doesn't. It's soldered right from the heat bed down inside. Um, I will verify that just to make sure that there's not a connector down inside of there. Um, what What... Like some of the things that I notice on Creality. All right, so for those of you who don't know, I have an ANET E12 over there, which is a direct rip off of the CR10. And by direct rip off, I mean that they had a CR10 in the room when they were deciding to make the E12. But things like the Y plate is, is just like thin, thin, thin metal. It's like beer can that's been ripped open. Um, that seems big, whatever that is. Printing. Um, That's dark. As where on this printer, like the Y plate is is definitely thick. It uses the 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 rollers for what in the world is this thing printing? 
My walk to school today was in 33 degree weather. Yeah, whatever oh. this is, is a failure. Ooh. It's spewing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what that even was. It was a test dog, of course. Print aborted. Print aborted. Yeah, that uh, that nozzle offset didn't look right when it did the. When it did the auto level. Prusa, Prusa is a bad word. $750 paperweight. I am terribly sorry to hear that. I love mine. It is, uh, it is definitely one of my go to printers. Oh yeah, the first. Oh look prince. at look at look at this look at this. Oh, that's not scary at all. That that amazes me with as well put together as the 10s was. I mean, I know you guys can see, can see that. I believe it's the bottom wheel is the eccentric, but you have to take the fan trout off to. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and cool this. It's already too cool to back the filament out of it. Or not. Yeah, what uh what is going on with your Bruce Stomper? I'm gonna have to pull this uh, this cover off here to get to that eccentric. Let's, let's move that Z way up so I can get a wrench underneath there. <laughs> Challenge you to a duel. Stop, you're making a mess. Challenge you to a duel. I'm not a big fan of Prusa. The MK2S was my first printer and does nothing but sit. My two Ender 3s are workhorses. That just doesn't just doesn't seem normal. I mean, every every company can have a a misfire. How high up is it going? I got to be able to get a wrench up underneath there. Ender twenty three. Thomas is gonna. Thomas thinks he should get an Ender twenty three. <laughs> and I feel what.
That's better. I didn't even have to take the shroud off. Stop that. That's really annoying. <laughs> Chain was gone. Well, actually, you can go wrong with the Ender 3. <laughs> Apparently there's a little bit of an issue with the electrical connectors, but they are, they've, they've found the problem, they've acknowledged the problem, and they are working on solving the problem. For the Ender 4. Well, it just seems that the company that they subbed out the wiring harness to used an inferior connector. They used a knockoff XT60 connector. Uh... Alright, so... Fairly, I'm closer to you than ever, South Carolina. Lightspeed is in South Carolina. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to be able to feel? That's still a long way away. <laughs> There's already an Ender 5. Yeah, but they're also notorious for releasing, you know. Five, one, like they'll three, release two. the five before the three and the. All right, so I want to, I'm going to print with no filament. Why would you ever do that? Because I want to see where the nozzle is sitting. You're going to print I want to see where the air? I want to see where the nozzle is sitting to the... You're going to print air. I am going to print air. I like printing air. You're going to air print. Air print? I do have the 2.5 upgrade, the magnetic bed, and the filament sensor. The uh, 2.5 upgrade, I almost didn't do it. I didn't want to mess up my, my first printer. I wanted to leave it stock, but that 2.5 upgrade was just too awesome to not do. There's a big chunk of filament stuck inside of the noozle. The noozle? It's a noozle. All right, so guys, we are one hour and five minutes away from the Friday night 3D community, printing community hangout. Okay, we get it. And uh, I, will, I will post that link again in just a little bit. Y'all let me know if you want me to repost the link to uh, shenanigans, shenanigans. Oh, no. Uh, don't call me girly. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Best song ever. Well, he didn't write the song. <laughs> the song came from Ben Sound. Well, the best music video, whatever, ever, whatever. Ender 4 came before the 3, but they're all caught up now. Ender 1 through 5. Prince that with TPU, I really wanted that bed. I wanted the, I wanted the, the powder-coated bed for the, uh, for the texture. I love that texture that it puts out. Will you be attending the F3D PCH? No. Uh, I'm too old for that. Probably not tonight. I'm too old for that. Well, that's not the issue. The issue is, is they have a guest on there, and like I don't really have anything to contribute. I will probably be watching, but I don't think I'll be on there. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> you should post the link again. I already have it. Still on repeat. Thanks for the offer, though. That that song is by Ben Sound. He's got a link in the description for it, and the the full length of that song is like two minutes and seventeen oh, seconds. No. But uh, no. he only made a forty-seven second video out of it. 
He has issues. Suppose I should have a sheet of paper ready. I don't know what I did with my sheet of paper from last week. Oh, here. It's probably used. No, nope, no, that's not it. Why wouldn't that piece of paper work, though? Uh, because it has writing on it that I don't want anybody to see. <gasps> oh, that makes sense. So I will use this scrap piece instead. 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 I wasn't here. Uh, it is John Ollie of uh, Murph fame. I wasn't here. What's the link or whatever? Give Shane the link to the song, please. Oh, to the Shawnee, Sean's video? Oh, I closed it. <gasps> All right, give me a second. I'll find it. How could you? You're supposed to have that on always. <laughs> Let's all watch it again. <laughs> all right, here is the vi the link to Sean's video. Enjoy. Let's all watch it again. <laughs> Oh yeah, look how high off the bed that is. That's like a whole stack of post-it notes off the bed. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> well, you don't have to go watch it. You do. He has to. Two... does not give me here we go see offset this is a significantly long way off the bed It's printing a raft. I can't wait to get this model. I'm at almost five millimeter. This just can't be right. It, it won't even go anymore. Yeah, I can I can see it adjusting, but it's um It's got a metal extruder gear. Just the the extruder itself is the body is plastic and then it's the uh it's the non-hobbed gear with the with the little pulley. It's it's not like the um Hey Richard. 
It's not. It's not like the the one on the CR twenty or the CR ten S. Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. Why are you turning that knob? It's apparently not doing anything. I'm trying to get it back to zero because at this point I don't even know what, what layer we're on. I don't want to leave it at some weird offset and then have the nozzle crash into the bed. Wow, great video. No. <laughs> Could you manually level the bed? No, this one doesn't have the it doesn't have the knobs because it uses a BL touch. The um and the BL touch. If you don't like it, send it to me. BL touch does not does not look like it can be adjusted. Bracket looks like it is permanently mounted. No, I know that there's some adjustment that you can do to the BL Touch itself. It just seems odd that this wasn't set beforehand. If you don't like it, send it to me. I don't know if I like it or not. You guys are such vultures. Bunch of moochers. <sighs> Uh, no, no manual leveling on this. It has got, uh, it has got solid aluminum standoffs and uh, nylon lock nuts holding that thing in. Platform adjustment. Okay. Let's follow the instructions, shall we? It tells me to go to auto home and wait to stop. To wait for me to stop or wait for the printer to stop? If you don't like it, Glenn, please don't send it to me. <laughs> I think Chris is using reverse psychology. He really wants us to send it to him. Mm hmm. <laughs> send it to me. I want to use the heat bed to fry eggs. <laughs> My kettle no longer works. I don't know if it gets that hot. I don't. I, like, the, the CR10S Pro has a 24 volt power supply. I'm pretty sure this one doesn't, and I'm pretty sure that it heat it was heating the bed and then the nozzle. Like it didn't do them both at the same time. Okay, so prepare, move axis, move Z, move 0.1 millimeter, rotate the knob until the distance between them is about 0.2 millimeters. A sheet of A4 paper. Write down the value of A. I didn't realize there was gonna be homework. I hate homework. Prepare. That's all I really do. Move access. Move Z. Point one. Gotta get my pen. Got my uncle. I got my uncle Ron pen here. Oh no, this is this is mine. I'm, gonna... I'm looking at it with my good eye. I'm gonna go get some Gatorade. Okay. Let me just turn this off. We don't hear you pee. That feels like about point two. 
Ah, uh, maybe a little tighter. That would be good. All right, so we're gonna go negative 2.4. I reject your challenge of a duel. Control. No, I don't have anybody reading the chat. Reality spreads don't get that hot. All right, control, motion, the offset, write down the value of B. Well, that's zero. Then rotate the knob until it comes out as B plus A. Okay, so they want me to set it to negative 2.4. Seems a little weird the way that they're having me do this, but... And there it is, 2.4. Turn control and select store settings. Back to control, store settings. And there's no confirmation whether or not it's stored. All right, so I'm going back to main. I'm going to go to auto home. And I guess this is the part where we crash the nozzle into the bed. All right. I guess I guess I'm gonna go ahead and load up the load up the filament. I'll have a little bit more faith this time that something's gonna print. What did I miss? Just me monkeying around. Going to prepare. It's always funny to me how these printers come with a PLA setting and an ABS setting, but they never have a PETG setting. All right, it's warming up. It's now 9-11. That gives us 49 minutes until the Friday 3D printing community hangout stream. Okay, math wizard. Really? <laughs> it's a math wizard to figure that out? <laughs> hey, Gatorade, are you watching? That is not Gatorade. That is a, a sport. Uh, oh, it's it's Lion it's a, Raid. It's a, it's a, it's a fruit flavored sport drink it, it, it's crocodile <laughs> i used to make them cut the labels off of stuff do you want me to no nah, it's all right 12:42 p.m. that's 12 42. that's late What is that YouTube link to? Is it the Friday night 
thing, 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 thing. Oh, it's the. Oh, it's the uh, the cooking. The cooking add-ons for the Prusa. Why is that a thing? Oh, now my chat's popping back in. All right, so now it's up to 185 glorious degrees. And there we got a little flow. Snip. Oh, that's a little... Print from TF. Oh, okay, Test right. dog. Please stop kicking that. I'm not doing anything. You and your clocks and knowledge of adding and subtracting. I know. It just blows his mind. Okay, so I will say there is one thing on this printer I can already tell you is kind of annoying to me, and that is that they put the USB port and the SD card slot on the front. I could live with the SD card slot being on the front, but the USB port being on the front is going to kind of suck for hooking up a OctoPi. Hi, Brian Vines. Brian Vines! That's Brian with a Brian, Y and Brian. Vines with an I. Brian. Yeah, it's heating the bed, but not the nozzle. Now the bed is hot, and it's going to start heating the nozzle. It only does one or the other. So it can't do both at the same time? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they did that so that they could go with a lower, a lower power supply. Definitely something to note for my review video. John boy. <coughs> what? What? I was trying to see the analytics. Thirty six concurrent viewers. <laughs> No, don't squish that filament. Stop leaking. Got it. Yeah, got it. Best tweezers ever. Woo! This is the first printer I've ever had with this type of magnetic bed on it, too. It's very nice. It's very wonderful. It's wonderful? It's very wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful bed. I don't know. We'll find out when we start printing on it. It'll be really easy to get prints off of it, but... Yeah, it keeps oozing. Chris Riley likes to be highlighted. Oh, Chris, you got to stop doing that, brother. We appreciate it greatly. I'd like to give a quick shout out to all of those who donated to uh, Zach's fundraiser this week too. Uh, I don't ranking wise or whatever. I don't know where he ended up, but he was uh, he was absolutely thrilled that you guys donated and made him look like a superstar. Well, that looks like we got a little better bed adhesion. Look, it's printing a circle. It didn't print a circle the last time. It printed um, a um, what's well, it called? A mess. A pile yeah, of spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I meant. Uh, I have not tried one of the Wham Bam beds. Wham Bam bed. Um, they have offered me one, but I didn't know what printer that I wanted it for, so. I did look into Streamlabs merch a little bit, but I think that I'm going to end up going with Teespring. I already have a, a, 
shirt store on Teespring. I just don't we have them on Amazon? They expired because we didn't sell any. They expired. Right. I can wow. go back in and add them, but it's just kind of a pain in the butt to add the merchandise. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. So, and Teespring allows, you can have pillows and beach towels. Beach and, towels? Oh, yeah. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. This thing is definitely printing on a raft. What if I wanted my face on a mug? We could do that. <gasps> the Xander face mug? <laughs> You'd have to have like a really stupid look on your face though, like, and then we'll do that on a mug. That's amazing. Ah, oh, and Brian Vines, Brian Vines. I like to be me. Me and my life. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. You guys are far too kind. Yeah, let's see if we can get, uh... we can get some camera action over here. Whoa, motion sickness. Motion sickness. The mug has to say Thursday. Tell <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 3D printing llama sneaking in here. Yeah, this is laying down some beautiful raft. Gonna put Xander's mug on a mug, huh? Xander's mug on a mug? It's the Xander mug mug. And then that mug on a mug, and then that mug on a mug, and then the mug. Look. Mad Mike coming in at one ninety nine. Got friends in low low lighted places. <laughs> oh hi, Uncle Ron. Uncle Ron's in the house. If if I had PayPal, I would donate one dollar and say I'd like to be low lighted. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he took my idea. What are you doing? Just, just none of your business. Oh, I, it is part of my business. You watch the chat. No, I'm going to watch this because the chat's kind of covered at the moment. <laughs> oh, I would have said something, but never mind. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's covered. Okay. Yeah, the entire thing is covered. What are you doing? I have to go. Confused. Yeah, okay. Now you can watch the chat. Okay. It's Xander's mug mug day. <laughs> what are you doing? Just mind your business. I want to know what you're doing. I'm looking for a link. To what? This is uh, Zach's fundraiser. Uh, there you go. I just want to see uh, where he's sitting. Zach came in. He raised $180 of his $250 goal. Oh, and, uh, bye, Thomas. And most of it was from you guys. Mm -hmm. And you guys are just awesome. Bye, Thomas. Thanks for being here. Uh, we don't actually know what's printing. <laughs> That's perfect. A mug of Xander's mug holding his mug next to his mug. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Glenn just fart at him. He'll stop asking what you're doing. I'd rather you don't. What? Uh... Maybe the D has D has to be capitalized. No, not typically. I'm trying to find. Oh, oh. 
You found your mug. There's our mug. Told me no results and then came back and gave me the mug. Mm-hmm. But nothing else. Where's the rest of our products? We have mugs, mugs, and mugs. Mugs, mugs, and more mugs. So you can have like pillows and stuff through Teespring. That's cool. I need a pillow with a fun king face. <laughs> so you can like hug it at nighttime. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna get you guys a, a link to the Teespring store. Uh, Ron, I don't know. As of right now, their website lists the uh, the the uh, venue as like to be determined or. Something like that. I know that they were trying for somewhere different with better air conditioning or some air conditioning. You know, being that it's in February and it's always so hot in February. Uh, Thomas is back. But I did, I did fill out my, um, I did my, my call to makers sometime back and then I emailed them just recently and asked them if if they had received it. Oh. And I got confirmation <laughs> yesterday that That's nice. We've made zero profit. Yeah, we haven't sold anything. Ooh, that's a nice looking shirt, Dad. Where should I go and get this wonderful looking Where would you shirt? like to purchase this shirt? <laughs> Hey, look at that. It's uh, teespring.com forward slash funking 3D. It's hot in February. <laughs> it was last year. And then, of course, I was so miserably sick. And if it wasn't for Uncle Ron, I would have been completely just messed up. All right, that's the Teespring store as of now. If anybody orders anything out of there, um, please let me know what the quality is like because I've never ordered anything from there but uh, and is it just the yellow or do they no, have different colors? there's different colors um, oh. there's there's a girl tea and a, and a well it's a unisex tea and then a ladies tea uh, and then a, a hoodie whoa a hoodie? a hoodie isn't that good for a winter time it is good for the winter time whoa. like if you have weather that's like negative 10 or negative 15 it's a great, great option. There's weather's at negative 10 and negative 50. <laughs> uh, right now, the shirt's only available in three colors, but you'll see them on there. I ordered pizza out of there. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my brother from another mother, James. I, I know you have a shirt, Thomas. You have, that's an official shirt. There aren't very many of those in the wild. Nope. I don't think we're going to be... This isn't going to finish in time. Oh, yeah, no, it's like a six-hour print. I don't even know what this is. It's like printing a flying saucer. Dear weather, stop being so negative. <laughs> it's neg nev never negative here. No, I don't think we've ever seen that. Xander, yes, negative temperatures <laughs> exist. We, uh, <laughs> That's crazy talk. A no. <laughs> couple years back, we were camping. We were camping with the Cub Scouts, and oh uh, that was cold. It was it was like twenty eight to that thirty degrees cold. out, and we were sleeping in a tent. It was cold. Before you, Creality Frisbee G code. <laughs> It said it was test dog, but we printed test dog on the on the CR10. Well, that's not what it, it looks like. It didn't print a a, a stroop waffle. Five eternities later. Yeah, it's test dog. It's test dog G code. I mean, even if this is printing, you know, if, uh, the way that it's printing, I have to assume it's some kind of a raft. That's not but, that cool. 
It is when you're in a tent. And you're in Florida. Why is the bottom wheel rotation backwards? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what he's talking about. Because it's on the bottom of the extrusion. Because it's the reversing wheel. Top wheels make it go one way and the bottom wheel makes it go the other way. It is nice to see that they're starting to print uh, ship printers with Kira, the newer Kira is not Kira 14. And I got a real Stroop waffle from Amsterdam. Are they different than the ones that you buy in the U.S.? Our Dollar Tree carries Stroop waffle. What? What is Stroop waffle? But I can't eat them because they have sugar in them. What is Stroop waffle? It's a like it's a it's a breakfast food. Ooh. Um, and they have like some of them have caramel in them and stuff. I'll get you some. Mm. You'll love them. That's what I'll be eating for breakfast every day. <laughs> That's how wheels work. <laughs> Wow. Oh, you guys kill me. Well, I have to say, this is one of the nicest looking rafts I've ever seen printed. Is this going to take six hours? So again, for those of you guys who have just tuned in, uh, a couple of announcements. In 30 minutes, the Friday Night 3D Printing Community Hangout starts. And, no, uh, in thirty-one minutes. In thirty-one minutes, I will have a link to that because we're gonna we're gonna duck out before that starts because I don't wanna I don't wanna step on their toes. Um, <gasps> so if fun. you haven't if you haven't ever watched one of those, tonight's a great night. Uh, the guest on tonight is John Ollie, one of the guys who uh, organizes Murph, which is the Midwest Rep Rep Festival. If you guys don't know that, um. <laughs> With some of the other announcements. Uh, Sunday, we are hosting Fun in the Country Basement for the first time in many weeks because the computer is fixed, as you can tell tonight. And also, poo, down it goes. Uh, <laughs> no, Bennett is not dead. He is very much alive and a little crazy at times. Hello, FRZB golfer. Frisb frisbee golfer. Ah, get it, frisbee golfer. You know frisbee golf. F R Z B frisbee golfer. Huh? Um, but yeah, on Sunday in fun, uh, on fun in the country basement, uh, I will be working on the F K one. Hope, hopefully getting the bed leveled out and uh, maybe even firing up that heat bed for the first time ever. Um, I do need to put the PEI sheet on it, but I'm not really sure when I'm going to do that because it makes me nervous. I tried Thomas and also blue tape. So Bennett's prints aren't sticking. Do you have any Magigoo? Uh, even before you go to Magigu, I would clean the bed really well with some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, if that doesn't fix it, take some really light grit sandpaper, like a 400 or higher grit sandpaper, and give it a light scuffing, and then clean it again. Uh, depending on what the material is, you may have to wipe it down with acetone. Um... Thomas goes right to the easy stuff, like level your bed. Increase your initial layer height. I sound very smart saying all Sunday this. frowning in the city attic. There's no frowning. It's all about the fun. Mm. I have a small Magigoo sample. I wouldn't go to the Magigoo yet, though. I would uh, I would definitely try cleaning the, the bed really well. And then, depending on how many hours you have on that bed surface, it, it they do wear out. Hi, Goober. No, I don't think so. I don't think so tonight. I don't know. Let me think about it. Is it your bedtime? Hmm. I don't know. You always wake him up in the morning. Mm-hmm. Okay. You say that every time. I will time. let you. I will let you tonight. 
But if you wake Bubba up in the morning, then no more. Okay. Why? Because he loves you. No, he's not allowed to. You're mean to your brother. He's not allowed to. All right, now we got a little east-west action going on here. I really want to know if that's a legit BL touch. <sighs> the knockoffs are pretty, pretty decent uh, knockoffs. Like, are they good quality wise, or are they? Glenn, don't you have really access to bubblegum fluid for floating the sheet, like with vinyl? Um, I do. I do. I'm. I'm just terrified. I'm terrified to put anything on it and to have it react with the with the adhesive and ruin the sheet. That is a hundred and fifty dollar sheet of PEI. I mean, I'm also terrified of ending up with air bubbles, but I don't know. It's in a box around here somewhere. I think I still have some. The problem with that, though, is it's like 15 years old or more, so I don't know if it's any good anymore, but um, we also used to just use um, water in a spray bottle with just like a drop of Dawn dishwashing detergent, which would allow you to slide it around, and then once you squeegeed it out, it was good. So, I don't know. I might... I probably should have put the PEI sheet on it while I had the bed off. But it's too late now. I don't want to take it back off. Uh, James, does what have a QR code on it? The printer? It's got a Facebook QR code on it, if that's what you're asking. I'm tired. Well, we're almost done. Unky oh, Ron. <laughs> it's going to turn out to just be like a disc. We're going to wait six hours for that. Or it's going to print just like a solid cylinder like this tall. No. Just pure solid. No, I will. Then I'll smack you in the face and challenge you to a duel. <laughs> I will throw it out the window. It looks like it was made in Tinkercad, though, because it's... Yeah. If Glenn is my brother and James is his brother, doesn't that make James my... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm curious to know how many people out there think that Uncle Ron is really Uncle Ron. I mean, he might as well be. He's he's definitely like family to me. I guess we're going to have to start calling James Uncle James. Uh, it's the same adhesive. Both are 3M basic. Test the bubble gum on something first. This is good too, but leaves residue. Bubble gum doesn't. Yeah, but again, that stuff's old. I don't know. It's got to be around here somewhere, but. Um, I mean, I reckon I could try it on a small sheet of PEI first and see if it trashes that PEI. I don't know, I'm not going to dig it out tonight, but it is definitely around here somewhere. I just always had, I always had better luck with the dish detergent. That's what we used to use for window tint and vinyl graphics and everything. Well, I kind of put two and two together. I knew what you were getting at with the, with the solution. Oh, really, Matt? You're from up, up by Uncle Ron? Hmm. 
Yeah, that's where all the cool kids live. Everything's up that way. Printed solids up there. New York Maker Fair is up there. I would think so since it is New York Maker Fair. So Miami Maker Fair is the weekend after we get back from Murph. No. That's what I'm thinking. No. Not gonna make it. Challenge you to do it. Okay. Mm mm. No. No. You know what? I I was saving this. I I was really, really wasn't gonna do this, but. No, you don't want to do that. Trust me. It's it's. You don't you don't want to go there. It's a nice house depot. House depot. <laughs> house depot ruler. It's a very nice light red. So I. Well, the the layers that it's laying down look pretty decent. Challenge you to a duel. Challenge you to a duel. Challenge you to a duel. I'm just not. I'm just not sure. I understand what what it is that it's printing. I dropped it. I'm gonna turn the speed up. Yes, thank you. Please do that. To like one bazillion. Well, because you gotta like. Crank the knob. House Depot. Well, yeah, we're not going to give them any credit and say the other one. Mm -mm. No. Stop. No. I was, no. I was just playing with it. <laughs> You're going to do it, aren't you? Okay, good. So I was, uh, I was contacted by a company, and I'm not going to give it away who, who it is yet. They sell electronic project type kits, and they're going to send us a kit for review on the channel, so that's pretty exciting. Shane wants it at 400. I kind of do too at this point. Well, this is at 150, and I did hear it increase. I don't want to go to 400. <laughs> I kind of want it to go to 400. We'll go to 200. 200. What other one? Lo loads? Lo load? Lods. Lods. Sure. It's a giant quarter. What is it that my mom calls that? Uh, lols. She puts an extra L in there. Lols. Lols. For the lols. Lols. It's a giant quarter. It's a uh, it's a Chinese throwing discus. <laughs> Radio Shack. Turn it to 11. I did. I turned it to 200. Whoa, amazing. 200%. You heard it take off, didn't you? That's amazing, just like our... And it's still doing a fine, fine job. All right, so I think that we're going to go for about 10 more minutes, and then we're going to pull the plug to that... All of you guys can go watch the Friday Night 3D Printing Channel. 3D Printing Channel. No, 3D Printing Community Hangout. I mess it up every time. Um, and, and Xander and I will start to attend more of those in the future. It's just been, there's been a lot of stuff going on. And it's on so late. And then he's such a pain on Saturday mornings. I am but not a pain on We have uh, less stuff filming on Saturday mornings now, so... Um, so maybe we can start doing the Friday night streams again, and then um, Bobby, meow, meow. again, huge thank you to all of you guys who donated to Zach's fundraiser. When's the new Maker Box video? Uh, Maker Box should be, be here tomorrow. Be if you. by some chance, and there's no obligation, there's no pressure. I don't care one way or another. But if you care to give to the American Heart Association, um, you can do it through that. That link is good until, like, I guess midnight tonight is when it expires. Um, but, oh, I thought you were asking about that. Yeah, the MakerBox video, uh, the MakerBox should be here tomorrow, according to the post office. And if that is the case, if it does show up tomorrow, we will be filming it tomorrow, and then it'll probably release on Sunday. Um, here is this is a link to the Friday night stream. 
<laughs> this is a link to a mystery video. This is a link to Sean's uh, "Don't Call Me Girly" video. Let's watch it. Let Let's watch it. I I, I can't screen share it. It's fine. I want to watch. You can watch it after. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? What? <laughs> no. For those amazing after Christmas presents, go to and this anybody link. anybody that wants to get a Fun King 3D t-shirt, that is our teespring. You can also get a mug. I promise I will add some more items to it soon. Like a pillow. If anybody orders something, please let me know what the quality is like. I'm going to go ahead and order one just so that I have one. How much are they? Exactly? Um, I don't know. Like, their prices... Um, the regular tees are 18 bucks. I think the base on them is like 1650. I didn't mark them up very much. Um, I'm not looking to make a a huge profit. Um, the hoodies are 32, which actually isn't bad for a hoodie. I think the I think the base on a hoodie was like 29 dollars. So I only put a couple dollars markup on them. Cactus pillow. Oh, those sweaters do seem comfortable. You already have one. True. <laughs> oh my god, this is probably the best sweater you can get. <laughs> um, at, this, <laughs> at this point, we're not releasing the Fun King shirts in black. Um, only the official shirts are in black. I'm a sellout. That'll kind of differentiate our shirts from everybody else's. That way you guys don't be putting on our shirts and going into McDonald's and being like, give me free stuff because I have a YouTube channel. Last week when the pizza guy came, during the, I think it was during the Sunday night stream, like I said to him, I said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you ring the bell. I said, we're well, YouTubers, and I'm actually live streaming right now. He's like, really? What's your YouTube channel? So he was going to check us out. Pillow Fun King 3Z. I'll give the Fun King like closed oh. eyes. His tongue hang out like drool. Oh. Sanders being extra noisy. Oh. Well, I'm kind of bummed that like nothing good printed, but. As soon as this is done, or I can determine what this is, or whatever, um, I will um, I will print a Benchy on here, of course. I'll print a Chris Riley boat on here. Um, Christopher Riley. What did you do? Dang it, man. Thank you. Um, yep. The American Heart Association thanks you. But, now you're going to go but, locate him and slap him. But, but brother. <laughs> you kill me, sir. You kill me. Five Benjis, I still need to buy stock. It is not often that I am speechless, but. Need Gatorade. I mean, Crocodile Raid. Crocodile Aid. Thank you, Chris. That, that was really not necessary. He is going to be. It's your fault. You posted the link. Yeah, but I mean, look at look at what these people have done. Mm -hmm. You know, I I was I was looking for you know five dollar, ten dollar, two dollar. You guys are just you guys are unbelievable. You're unbelievable. And I mean, it's it's a good cause. It's it's a, it's a it's a good it's a good cause, but.
Yeah, it is a tax write-off, but still, I mean, thank you. Are you going to go tell Zach? I think, I think he's going to go tell Zach. I will entertain them. Uh, Chris Stout <laughs> donated me. I really hope when it finishes this layer, it's just going to be done and that's what it's going to be. So that we can just go to bed. Nope. That's not how it's going to work. Wait. No. No. Going to have to do that all again. Yes. I am in charge now. Whoa. <laughs> Dance, Sanders. I don't have much room to dance. <laughs> and I can't outdance uh, Sean. That's just impossible. be funny if you put a Benji in the middle of that fast rap. <laughs> I don't have any good jokes. Shane is usually in charge of that. I'm not, I'm not really good at that. Unless I have Google, which I don't. Check out my latest P2 print on Twitter when you get the chance. Why did golfer wear two pairs? Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? Two pair of pants. Oh no. Oh no no no. Um. Uh, what do you call a deer without any eyes? What? We start telling jokes again. Uh, he asked for one, and then I said I didn't have any, and then, in case he got a hole in one, I got no idea. <laughs> you guys are just, he's so excited. Now he's not going to sleep. <coughs> you guys are too kind. All right. Well, as much as I hate to say it, I do want to. Uh, I do want to shut this down because, again, I don't want to walk in. You know, walk over the uh, the Friday night hangout. So I'm going to post that link one more time. I am going to say thank you to each and every one of you. Um, not just the donors. You know, the donors are always appreciated, but each and every one of you guys that are here are appreciated because. You are what makes all of this worthwhile and worth doing. Uh, I love hanging out with each and every one of you guys. Um, what do you call a deer with oh, no eyes and no legs? I didn't hit enter on that. Still, Still no, no idea. idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> make sure you tune in on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I will be here on Fun King 3D. Finally, after many, many weeks, and we're excited about that. Uh, you can check out uh, funcountrybasement.com for the latest link. Latest. Um, anything else? You got anything? All right, so 4 p.m. Sunday, be there. Go follow that, uh, follow that link. Watch the Friday night hangout. Uh, if you've never seen one, definitely go check it out. If you have seen one, go check it out anyway. Um, thank you for being here during the build of this CR20. I know it didn't really take long to build, and... Uh, it didn't really get a chance to print much, but you guys were here, and uh, <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to talk about that one guy. Who's uh, that one guy? <laughs> Is it me? Yeah. yeah, that's why I don't invite you anymore. <laughs> so, but yeah, go check out that link um, and stuff and other stuff. I don't really think I have anything else to tell you. 
Xander, uh, what, do except you, for, what do you name a deaf dog? Alright, all right, that, that's enough. <laughs> I want to it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because <laughs> when you call me, he can't hear you anyway. <laughs> I still, I still want to know. There you go. What does Aww. it matter? He can't hear you. Aww. Thank you guys. We love each and every one of you. And until next time, as always, this way to the camera. <laughs> Print on.